good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. It is certainly a gorgeous day here in Jakarta, Indonesia. And today I'm super excited because we head over to the reptile show and today starts the contest. I'll be judging a bunch of really amazing lizards today. I'm not really sure what I'm going to see but I know it's going to be incredible and I can't wait to show you guys. I mean this is kind of one of those days where I have amazing anticipation like what is it going to be like? What are people going to bring out? Again it's kind of a best of show so you can imagine that people are going to bring their most amazing animals to the show. It's going to be so absolutely awesome. And tomorrow we actually do snakes, the best of snake show. So that's going to be great too. I'm sure we're going to get into some other stuff as well. But for now, I'm going to catch some breakfast and get on my way. adventure eating. I'm not even sure what some of this stuff is, but I'm going to try it. This looks interesting. I think I'm going to give it a go. Very, very sticky. Everyone can go for a good donut. So far, everything's been really good. I mean, it, the food has been excellent. Uh, eaten really good, but uh, you know, I don't know what this this particular thing is here, but uh, I think I'll like it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. It's the stickiest. Let's see what this is. It's pretty good, though. I'm not saying that it's not as good just because it's not my mom's. I'm just saying that my mom's is way better, <laughs> and not just because she's my mom. I would say if that was better than my mom's, but it's literally not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ch check his mom's out. I mean, is your mom around? My mom? Yeah. Nope. Uh, any idea how I could get a hold of her? Just back from breakfast and we're going to be heading over to the reptile show here in a little bit. Like I said, I'm pretty excited about seeing, you know, whatever is going to be there. I think that's one of the things that's really cool about something like a best of show is that you're not just seeing animals that people brought to a show to sell, but you're actually seeing their kind of prize animal because they want to get the number one best of show slot. I'm a little bit nervous about the fact that how am I going to judge it? I have a feeling that I'm going to love all of them. You know, people ask me all the time, you know, what's your favorite animal? And I always say it's impossible to pick because I love them all. So what's bad is today I have to pick my favorite animal or the top three or whatever the case may be. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. The good news is I think there's a few other judges on the panel. So I may just end up going with what they pick because uh, I have a feeling that almost every animal I'm going to see, I'm going to be like, this is the best I've ever seen. But I will definitely show you guys the cool animals that we see, and you guys can do me a favor, and in the comments, you can tell me which animal you think should be best of show, and then when we get to the end, we'll see how good or close you guys were on it. So anyways, let's uh, gear up and get over to the reptile show. Walking over to the reptile show right now, it's a balmy 95 degrees and 100% humidity out here. It's absolutely amazing, but uh, it's going to be exciting. What do you guys say we go in and take a look? All right, so let me give you the breakdown of what's gonna happen here. Again, today is lizards, so geckos and whatever else. And basically what's gonna happen is they're gonna put the, they actually put the lizards in these tanks right here. And then myself and two other judges, local judges, will go around and mark a handful of things like health, color, uh, just overall look of the animal. We mark them from one to 10, 10 being the best possible one. And we can do halves as well. So we can do six and a half, seven and a half, whatever it might be. And then in the end, after all these tanks and we've gone through, we pick the number one score that's the highest score. I guess that's how it works. So uh, I'm excited that the best of the best lizards are gonna be here today. Reptile oh, show yeah. and the, the contest hasn't started, but take a look at this monitor right here. Oh, that's beautiful. That thing is great. That's <laughs> awesome. How cool is that, huh? Yeah. They just, wow, that thing is amazing.
So as I'm looking over the list here of all the entries, really what we have is we have a bunch of different classes of leopard geckos. So uh, it looks like there's maybe about a dozen classes of leopard geckos, and each class could have you know numbers of uh, potential entries. And so we have to, you know, like this one would be a non-albino, and then there's snow, and there's a whole bunch of, like tangerine, so on like that. Then you have some tortoises. There's two tortoise groups, like the stars and radiated, and I think the other one is like a dalbras and a couple others. So there's two tortoise groups, and then there's like three groups of Salvatore monitors, which are the water monitors. That's basically what we have with the four-legged animals, the leopard geckos, oh, and iguanas as well. So there's a couple classes of iguanas, and then the tortoises and the monitor lizards. So uh, there should be really some spectacular animals in here. Again, some of these groups can have up to 40 entries per group, and you can kind of see that there's all these potential groups here. There's going to be a lot of animals and a lot of judging, but it's going to be absolutely incredible, and it's going to be cool to see at the end of the day who the winners are in each of these classes. I think we're about a half an hour away from the competition getting started. So it's not often that when someone comes up and says, hey, can I take a picture of you with their pet? And it turns out that their pet is a salty, a <laughs> salt quarter crocodile. How amazing is that? That thing is crazy cool. All right, so this is my pleasure to take a picture. always said that probably my favorite snake really is a king cobra. I think they're the most intelligent and most amazing snake out there. Every time I've been around one, I've been just mesmerized by how intelligent they are. So today I get to do something that's pretty insane. I've always wanted to see one in the wild, and on this trip there's probably very little chance that that's going to happen, although we will be in some areas and possibly would see one, but it's going to be extremely rare. So the guy that does the cobra show that I showed yesterday in the vlog, he came up to me and said, hey, would you like to kiss a king cobra? on the head and I know that some people are probably not going to be happy that I'm going to do this but I can't pass up that opportunity to get that close it's going to be absolutely amazing now he's going to keep the Cobra's attention to the front and I'm just going to come in the back and just give it a little peck on top of the head and one of the things about Cobra's is they don't strike backwards and they really don't even see behind they only see in front that's one of the reasons why when you see someone come up and tap them on the head they don't look up they only look forward so as long as he keeps his attention there is absolutely no problem but I understand that some people are probably going to be upset with me. But listen, if you had that opportunity, would you pass it up? I probably think not. So I will prepare for some hate comments on Facebook and Instagram. But listen, I just think it's going to be an amazing experience and I want to bring you guys along on it. taking a little break from the competition to check out this beautiful animal here. Of course, a melanistic eastern blue tongue skink. That is absolutely gorgeous. This is really the blue tongue skink that got me started in loving blue tongue skinks. I mean, there's just, to me, that's the best skink of all right there. I just absolutely love it to death. Wow, that is awesome. We just finished up judging all the leopard geckos. There's a short break, uh, I did a little talk thing, and then we are doing a cobra show with the king cobra, and that's where maybe I'm gonna kiss one on the head, I'm not 100% sure. And then we have some more judging with tortoises and monitors a little bit later, but uh, uh, so far some really cool leopard geckos. I mean, there's a couple I was like, holy cow, those pied looking super snows, I've never seen anything like that. That was absolutely stunning, but uh, I'm excited for the cobra show.
So I wanted to take a quick break right after that Cobra show to kind of express my thoughts of it right off the bat. You know, it, it's much like when we went to the market, you know, you have to understand that there's good and bad of everything. Now, I'll be honest with you, any type of entertainment show like that that's a little bit harsh, I, 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 I'm, I get concerned about the way the animals are treated. With that being said, it certainly is amazing the bond that those people have with those animals. And what I mean by, I've never seen anybody that seemed to be as in tune with those animals as these people were. I mean, literally, there was probably six or seven times that I literally thought one of them was going to get bit. It was so close. Now, I'm not condoning it. You know, a lot of people would say, well, that's terrible showboating. It's reckless. I don't know really what to think. I know it was pretty entertaining, and I was kind of in awe with what I saw. That being said, there were certainly some points that I didn't even film because I was a little bit disappointed in, in, in the way that things were being handled. And as for the kissing the cobra thing, you know, I had mixed emotions about that too. I really wanted to do it because it's really amazing and it was a really incredible experience to be that close and to actually kiss a king cobra on the head. And, and I certainly knew I was in no danger because number one, I could read animals very well. Number two, I knew that those guys had everything completely under control. And it was really amazing how that cobra didn't even really pay attention to me when I had my lips on the back of its head. It was really just focused on the person in front of it and the eyes. And it, it just, those king cobras are so intelligent. So my question to you is, shows like that, are they good? Are they bad? Are they... Do they have, serve a purpose other than entertainment? Does it maybe spark people's interest and curiosity and maybe they'll go and research things and become reptile lovers or animal lovers? I'm not really sure. I think that it at least sparks curiosity, but I, I go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think. And, and, and listen, I know I'm gonna catch some hate for this whole thing, and that's okay. Uh, I still, I would do it again because I think it was a, a chance in a lifetime. And, and, and to be honest with you, I'd be willing to bet that the majority of people that are going to say hateful things about how terrible I am for doing this would probably have done the same thing if given the opportunity. So I'm not going to let them drag me down. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Look what I came after, guys. A big old caiman lizard. Oh my gosh. This thing is awesome. Man, there are so many awesome animals here. I'm just tripping out. Wow, is that thing cool? Okay guys, in my lifetime, I never thought I was even gonna see an animal like this. This is a marine iguana, a freaking marine iguana. And I'm holding it. Oh, um, look at that. I'm, oh my God, this, this trip was so worth it. Okay, so the reptile show is wrapped up and the contest is wrapped up. We judged about 600 animals today and I had to go five categories per animal. So that was about 3,000 judgments today. But I tell you what, I saw animals that I have never seen. I've maybe seen in books and I literally, I mean that marine iguana blew me away. Parenti monitor. I mean the list, there was tortoises and oh my, this was an absolutely crazy day to see so many animals. And to get the opportunity to see an interesting cobra show and then actually kiss a king cobra was pretty special and i know again some people are going to hate on me for doing it but i still say that that's an opportunity that comes around once in a lifetime and i love king cobras it's one of my favorite snakes if not the most favorite snake on the planet for me i can't pass that opportunity up and to be totally honest with you i would do it again if i had an opportunity that i don't know there's just something amazing about the intelligence of that cobra now tomorrow we actually judge snakes today was the four-legged animals tomorrow is snakes it's going to be venomous snakes non-venomous snakes i can't even imagine the stuff that we're going to see tomorrow 
I mean, literally today, I was blown away. We go back to the first day we are here and we thought we could never top the things we saw and today blew that away. So what's tomorrow gonna bring? I mean, this adventure has been amazing and I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of joining me on this adventure. As always, I cannot thank you guys enough for watching and supporting me. You guys mean the world to me. So do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell for me. Make sure to be kind to somebody. I promise I'm gonna see you tomorrow.